My goodness. An El Dorado Hills viewer spent a hundred grand but on the, a pool. But the contractor of this pool didn't pay a subcontractor who then went after our viewer. That one meant it was time to call Curtis. Well, if a contractor doesn't pay a supplier or the workers who worked on your home, they could come after you putting a lien against your property. It doesn't sound fair, but it's the way it is. The homeowners caught up in this mess first contacted us in May. And while there is progress in his case, he is still waiting for a resolution. The peaceful sound of flowing water signaling a flow in the right direction for El Dorado Hills homeowner Rafael Gallardo. Got a pool. <laughs> a big improvement from when we first met him in May when his unfinished dream pool had turned into a nightmare. That infuriated us. We, we just, uh, my wife just went ballistic. I went ballistic. Because he paid Murphy's Pools more than $100,000 for the job. But Murphy's Pools failed to pay a subcontractor. The subcontractor is now suing Rafael for the $14,000 that's owed and put a lien on the home. A situation the Contractor State License Board's Venus Strongberg says is preventable. Issue joint checks, which are checks that are made out to both the prime contractor and the materials uh, supplier or the subcontractor. That way you're sure everybody gets paid because the prime and the subcontractor must sign the check in order to cash it. And after work with a subcontractor is done, demand your contractor get the sub to sign this unconditional lien release form. By signing that, they, they're basically stating that they have been paid and they're giving up their lien rights. And you can legally withhold payment to your prime contractor if he doesn't get the release from the subcontractor. So that I would make sure that there was a uh, contractor's uh, lien uh, release form filled out for every single subcontractor. There you can see the waterfall. And Rafael learned those lessons the hard way, but he says since our story aired, Murphy's Pools has nearly finished his job and is beginning to pay off that $14,000 bill to the subcontractor. I have faith that he will do it, you know, you know, wait and see game. It really is a beautiful pool. Rafael says the subcontractor has put the lawsuit against him on hold for now while Murphy's Pools makes payments. Now, we called Murphy's Pools to ask when they're going to pay off this debt, but they did not get back to us. It is sizable. So where do you get those lien release forms? You can actually find those forms right on the Contractor State License Board's website. We're going to put it on our website in this story, but it's very important. They updated those forms at the beginning of the month, and you want to make sure you use the most recent version of the form. It'll give you the best protection. Okay, very good. Thank you. You bet. All right, if you have a consumer problem you can't resolve, maybe we can. You our hotline Monday through Friday, or you could always go to our website, cbssacramento.com, click on Call Curtis, and fill out our form. Uh